Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon Not here with Geeky Sparkles in this video, which is a shame because it's another daily dose of dismal Disney. It's happening, it's happening. Everything we predicted, Disney is going to shut down the Galactic Star Cruiser. That's right, the Galactic Star Cruiser, the massively overpriced LARPing hotel based on the sequel trilogy characters that nobody cares about is a huge, massive failure for Disney. We've been covering the decline of this thing ever since it launched. Again, it went exactly the way we thought it was going to go, where everybody who wanted to go to this hotel went the first couple of months, and after that, it dropped off a cliff. Again, five to $6,000 to LARP for not even two days with budget cut Star Wars characters. It looks like a Star Trek convention. It does not look like Star Wars, or at least not original trilogy Star Wars. They have tried everything to get this to stick. They've tried discounts. They have tried multimedia tie-ins, comic books. Nobody's interested in this. But you do a Star Wars hotel with like, Han Solo and Darth Vader and R2-D2 and C-3PO and it looks like a rebel base or something and you're probably going to get people there. Not for that price tag though. You cut that down to like a quarter. Maybe actually the smarter thing to do in my personal opinion would be to just turn it into like a dinner theater, a dinner experience with original trilogy characters. Again, let me be very clear, Disney, original, original trilogy characters. If you want to make money, that's, you need to re-theme all of Galaxy's Edge as the original trilogy and you will make substantially more money. We're going to talk about this bombshell, surprise, but not a surprise. Uh, later, we're going to do a video talking about how Disney is scrapping plans for a Florida campus. This has nothing to do with DeSantis. They're trying to make it a political thing. I don't think it is. I think this is Disney just trying to save money and them shuttering the Galactic Star Cruiser shows that they're just trying to save money at this point and they're going to use it for you know political fist bumps or whatever. Before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants. Guys, go to piratesandprincesses.net for more objective Disney news. Go to clownfishtv.com for more objective pop culture news. Uh, this is coming from CNBC, and then we'll go out to WDW News today. Uh, Disney World's costly Star Wars Galactic Star Cruiser to close in late September. Disney World Star Cruiser, a two-day hotel experience, is closing the final voyage. Final voyage will take place in late September. The experience has earned some of the highest guest satisfaction ratings in the history of Walt Disney World and earned a Theo Award for Outstanding Achievement. Oh, fuck off. Nobody cares. It was a bad idea. Now, let me let me correct. It was a good idea, poorly executed. All the immersion that was on this, this voyage was supposed to be throughout the entirety of Galaxy's Edge. We were supposed to have aliens and droids and lightsabers and all that stuff in Galaxy's Edge. But they paywalled it. They paywalled it because Disney is greedy. And they wanted to bleed their guests dry. You can go on an actual, an actual Disney cruise for like a week for the cost of this thing. Uh, Disney World's Galactic Star Cruiser two-day hotel experience is closing and will make its final voyage this September after being open for only more than a year. The experience blends elements of the company's resorts, cruise lines, and theme parks into a 48-hour romp in space. First teased during D23 in 2019, the Galactic Star Cruiser, located near the company's Orlando, Florida-based Walt Disney World Resort, opened in March of 2022. The voyage costs $1,200 per person per day. $1,200 per person per day, with family packages reaching closer to $6,000 for the two-day excursion. Who could have seen this failing? My God, guys. You're just a bunch of haters. You're just a bunch of Disney haters. You just hate Disney. Who could have foreseen this failing? Like, who thought this was a good idea? We're going to charge $6,000 to LARP for two days in a sci-fi, a very generic sci-fi setting using sequel trilogy characters that aren't nearly as beloved as the original trilogy characters. And we're going to cut some corners and, and make sure that, you know, all this immersion, all this really cool stuff we promised isn't actually there either. Um, you can spend your day jiggling rocks. You can uh, play mobile apps. 
You can eat some disgusting looking Avatar land food, right? You can hang out with that blue face captain and the Greedo girl. And, and, and that's about it. That's about it. There's not a whole lot to do. Like you thought you're, you thought you're going to be part of the rebel Alliance. You thought you were going to be hanging out with all kinds of droids and aliens. And it was going to look like something out of the Mos Eisley Cantina. You dumbasses. It's only $6,000. What do you expect for $6,000? What do you expect for $6,000? You know, it's not like they, they couldn't have like an animatronic uh, uh, Max Rebo band or something, at least. No, no, we just have one cosplayer uh, <laughs> singing. Um, that could be a hard number to digest, especially considering a typical Disney vacation for a family of four costs as that much for a week-long trip. That is true. The Galactic Star Cruiser has been lauded as a dream come true for fans looking for the ultimate Star Wars experience. Where is the Star Wars? I don't see it. The two-day jaunt includes a hotel room, all food and drink, except alcohol and specialty beverages, just like a cruise. A day trip to the Hollywood Studios Park, a magic band, and valet service at drop-off. You can drop your crap off, and then you can load up in the, the U-Haul or whatever they were using, the short truck, the short bus, you can take the short bus to Batu and get on the uh, Star Cruiser for people who've got entirely too much money and should be riding the short bus, right? Because this is not a good use of your, your money. The Star Cruiser is more than a hotel. It's an immersive experience. Why is CNBC, why are they sucking Mickey's dicky so hard? This is CNBC. They also own Universal. Some familiar faces appear, including Chewbacca, Ray, and Kylo Ren. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. The Galactic Star Cruiser is one of our most creative projects ever and has been praised by our guests and recognized for setting a new bar for innovation and immersive entertainment. But you fucking failed to make it work as a business venture, Disney. This is not hard. This is not hard. If Galaxy's Edge was themed to the original trilogy, as was planned as was planned. It was supposed to be, it was supposed to be original trilogy, but no, you had to listen to Kathleen Kennedy. You jumped the gun because the force awakens looked pretty good or it was doing good at the box office because of nostalgia. You were supposed to have a Harry Potter killer. The difference between galaxy's edge and Harry Potter is you can recognize everything in the wizarding world as something from the movies. You can't recognize anything in Galaxy's Edge except for the Falcon and a walker inside the Rise of the Resistance. Everything else is sequel trilogy. Everything else is generic sci-fi. And the Galactic Star Cruiser is even more generic than, than Galaxy's Edge. You need to just shut the whole damn thing down and retheme it. Go back to square one. Be like, you know what? We're going to spend another couple hundred million dollars to unfuck Galaxy's Edge and turn it into original trilogy. And now it's going to be, you know, uh, Mos Eisley and it's going to be Docking Bay 94. Turn turn Galaxy's Edge into the Mos Eisley Cantina. Do it as like a day thing. Get a bunch of people in costume and animatronics and you will make money. I guarantee you, you will make money. Okay, but you got to get out of your own way and realize that Disney Star Wars is off-brand Star Wars. Nobody wants this shit, and they're sure as hell not going to pay $6,000 for this. $6,000. Uh, this is coming from WDW News Today. Disney has announced that they're permanently closing it in September. The final voyage will be in September 28th. I am shocked. I am shocked. You can go back to our videos. When Disney started canceling projects, I said the first thing they need to cancel is this Galactic Star Cruiser. It is way too expensive, especially in this economy. That's a lot of money that could go to something else. They could build a proper hotel. They could do something, something else with the money, right? And it, it doesn't sound very good. And uh, I, I said, if it were me, I would cancel it. No, it's like, this is a luxury spend. People aren't going to have the money. We're going to come into a recession. Uh, at that point in time, it was the pandemic. And it's like, you know, nobody knows where we're at financially. A lot of people lost their jobs. Uh, they were locked in their houses. They're not going to spend $6,000 to LARP in fake Star Wars. God, the announcement comes after months of disappointing occupancy. The Galactic Star Cruiser debuted just over a year ago. While bookings were at capacity for a while, the current operations had reached a point where there were only enough guests to fill one dinner service. 
Low occupancy cruises were being canceled, and rumors indicated that Disney was opting not to renew many entertainment cast contracts. We've talked about that. They began offering discounts to Disney Vacation Club members and cast members recently as well. It did win an award. Well, good for them. It doesn't pay the fucking bills, though, does it? Before the Star Wars Galactic Star Cruiser for people who have entirely too much money and not enough IQ points opened, it went through waves of selling out followed by mass cancellations. Oh, right before the grand opening in March 2022, several months were completely booked despite generally positive reactions. Cancellations increased after opening. I said before this opened, this is going to be a future episode of Defunct Land, and I guarantee you he's already working on it because he knew it too. I guarantee you that the defunct land guy already knew this was going to be dead on arrival. Uh, back in May of 2022, Bob Chapek boasted of continued high demand for the Star Cruiser and an expectation for the two-night experience to reach 100% utilization for the third quarter. Bullshit. The Star Cruiser offered a three-day, two-night immersive Star Wars adventure on a fictitious cruise ship where guests became part of a conflict between the Resistance and the First Order. Strike that, make it the Rebel Alliance and the Empire, bring in Darth Vader, and you might have had something. You might have had something. You would have had a lot of old heads that have disposable income, dentists and doctors and lawyers that grew up with Star Wars, but uh, not this shit. They don't care about Rey and Kylo Ren. It also had a high price tag starting at $4,800 for two guests and uh, $6,000 for four guests. Curious about the experience? Check out our guide to everything. Nobody was curious about the experience. Actually, what happened, the reason they had cancellations, people were curious about the experience because they are like, wow, Star Wars Hotel, Darth Vader, R2-D2, C-3PO, Luke Skywalker, Princess Leia. Nah, fam. We're going to get that kid from the Goldbergs and he's going to like gush about this thing and do his best Wesley Crusher impression and just everything's awesome everything's cool and and then we're going to show you what you're actually paying for and it's like queue stuff like this is like th these games you you would play them in the queue waiting for space mountain okay mobile apps and jiggling rocks for six thousand dollars disney what the fuck were you thinking well they weren't disney was just thinking that the star wars brand was something that people were just going to line up to throw money at them for, and they have destroyed this brand. It's not worth it. Again, if it had been legacy characters, I think you might have gotten another couple of years out of it, but you just don't know what you're doing. You don't know what you're doing, Disney. You really don't. You just think that people are going to line up and throw money at you. And I have to wonder, since they're talking about Bob Chapek and all that, that jazz going on, they're getting sued, by the way for fudging their Disney Plus numbers, I have to wonder, did they lie about the Galactic Star Cruiser too? Because we've been covering it, Geeky's been covering it on piratesandprincesses.net, we've done multiple videos. Have they been lying about the occupancy to make the shareholders happy? Because I'm sure they've been asked, what are you doing? Why are you charging this much? How come, how come all the headlines are, this thing is stupid and it costs too much money? You know, somebody needs slapped. I'm, I'm just saying, somebody needs slapped. Somebody needs to get somebody needs to get the big ass white glove and slap your ass and say, "What the hell are you thinking? What are you thinking?" But unfortunately, it was Bob Iger that that greenlit this shit, and now he's basically having to walk it all back to save face. But he's gonna blame Chapek, I'm sure. We're gonna wrap this up. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, rants, and a daily dose of dismal Disney. It's gonna get really crazy, guys. You just wait. The next couple of years are gonna be insane. We'll talk to you later. Help support the channel. Go to thereef.support and get early access to podcasts, videos, and other content. That's thereef.support.